there, and Trat Mawa here, and I got yet another Legends of Runeterra video for you guys today, as today we are going to be playing in the Early Access event. Thanks to Riot, we get a bit of a sneak peek into the new expansion, and while I was going to, you know, originally upload a reaction video to the new champion, I figured I would just play with her instead like i think that's something that all of you would prefer to just see some actual gameplay and a deck built around vein so that's what we're going to be doing we're going to be starting off with a champion that i've yet to actually talk about so let's start off with that i'm going to explain why i went with this uh deck choice um i mean long story short i essentially wanted to go with a, a bit of a straightforward easy to build deck with her first because i was not really running good on time and uh then i wanted to get some first impressions on her and see if i could uh potentially you know move towards other more compelling builds later down the line and uh, the answer for that by the way is yes because vain Bane is really promising. Bane is really, really cool, and I'm gonna try to explain why. Three meta, three, four, that nice Riven stat line. When I'm summoned or round start, create a tumble in hand. But if you already have one, you reduce the cost by one. Level of requirement of I've seen you attack four times. This may sound familiar. It is the exact same level of requirement that Misfortune and Quinn have. There's a big difference between Vayne and uh, Misfortune and Quinn though, and that is that her level up form does not really change things much at all. With Misfortune and Quinn, they get these insane like boosts, right? With with Misfortune, she just automatically, I mean, not automatically, but close to automatically finishes the game. She gets overwhelmed and deals three damage to everything upon attack, and she doesn't even have to attack herself. And Quinn also gets to just create Valors for free every time she declares an attack and has Scout, right? So both of them, when they level up, are close to game winning, while Vayne only really changes the tumble here. It says create a zero cost tumble in hand instead of just a three mana tumble, and if you have one, you can reduce his cost by three directly, right? So you can play them for free. And the plus one, you know, the standard plus one, plus one uh, stat boost, right? Tumble is the card, though, uh, that we're going to be talking a lot about because tumble is what makes Vayne amazing. Vayne does not have to level up to win games. I mean, Misfortune and Quinn technically don't as well, but they benefit significantly. Vayne is already really, really powerful from the get-go because she's able to generate this card and you're incentivized to keep her alive, not because you're working for the level up necessarily, but because you want her to be generating more and more tumbles or making them easier to play. Tumble says, equip an ally with an equipment in hand that costs two or less. It starts a free attack. This is amazing in the right build, and uh, what I wanted to try out first was Vayne with Jax. I know Jax has gotten a little bit of a bad rep up until now. You know, not the most interesting champion, not the most flexible champion, not the most competitive champion, but with Vayne, things really do change, and that, you know, that rhymes, not bad. <laughs> That's terrible. So we have a deck in which we're combining Demacia with the Jax region, or, you know, the Runeterra champion. The Jax region. The Jax region is comprised of Weapon Masters. Weapon Masters who improvise and allow us to fill the board with several differently equipped units. Why are we incorporating her with the Weapon Masters? Because she has synergy with weapons and because her followers also do. The first time I see an ally equipped, grant me tough. One man to two with tough, really good. In my opinion, to be honest, just saying. Steadfast Elkin, very nice one drop that I've enjoyed quite a bit. Obviously, the Ionian Hook Master. We have the Wandering Shepherd, which can allow us to improvise are ideally onto vein give her an, an actual equipment so she's harder to kill and that uh, we can use her more offensively as well giving her a quick attack is amazing for example combat cook you know pretty good improvising and forging for four mana pretty damn decent we have a one-off of the kind-hearted recruit you know, very nice guy who's also very, very powerful as well uh, as a 5-5 <laughs> and has a very neat effect of giving equipped allies barrier this round. So if we have a bunch of different units with very with equipments, we can play him. It seems like a very powerful effect, but it's, it's hard to to have to reach that board state. So I, I have deemed it as a one-off because I think for our late game plays, what we need to be focusing off in, on, sorry, what we need to be focusing on English is the Blood Cursed Harpy. This card is the tits. Six mana, six four with scout. Play, equip me with an equipment that costs two or less from hand. The first time I would die while equipped, fully heal me and destroy the equipment instead. So, yeah, she's about to die. She's like, oh, get the shit off me. And then she just revives. It's, it's fantastic. This card is nuts. 
it's actually stronger than I expected at first, and it has really exceeded my expectations and is very, very threatening in conjunction with Vayne because we can apply Tumble onto it. And applying Tumble onto it means that we're getting a free attack with a scout unit, a big scout unit that is really hard to kill at that which will allow us to then rally because we will be gaining the attack token. And if we give Blood Curse Harpy something like the Fisher Whack, for example, and, and all of a sudden she has Overwhelm, then it's an Overwhelm unit that has to die before losing the Overwhelm, and then she's still there and can be equipped with something else. Keep in mind that the uh, fully healing itself and, and not dying is only a one-time thing. So you can't just like, oh, equip her again because <laughs> then she would be broken. It says the first time I would die. But it's like a phoenix effect, and it is outstanding, man. It's really, really, really good, uh, especially in conjunction with Venus. It's a very nice win condition to work towards, and I, I really like it. It's very fun to play as well. So we have here a Demacian-based mid-range list. We're running uh, equipments outside of the improvised units as well. We have the Darken Aegis, which for five mana can become Joral. And Joral can allow us to shut down spells in the middle of combat which is really really cool and then we have fish fight one of my favorite new cards absolutely love everything about it what it does the art did i say the art <laughs> the name <laughs> an ally and an enemy strike each other or an equipped ally strikes an enemy then is unequipped really like this card helps us level up jacks by striking with an equipped unit and allows us to effectively strike something without having to them retaliate to us and that the only price is unequipping our weapon and that may seem like a, a liability but it really isn't when we're playing a full set of catch and we're able to re-equip our spells sometimes we do want to unequip a unit anyways because we want to free up that equipment so that the heartbeat can get it right and there's just a lot of very neat sequencing in plays that you can enable with these uh with these weapons bouncing back and forth between your hand and the field uh, we're also playing a one one off of the Masi Steel to give us a bit of an extra equipment to target, and we're playing a one off of the Faithful Wolf Dog because he's a good boy, loyal, adorable, and pretty damn good. Because uh, if an ally is that that is round, it's essentially a one mana two three that auto equips upon entry, which is a lot of tempo for one mana, and I really like him because of that. I'm running a couple copies of Repost alongside Parts Made Hold and Concerted Strike. Uh, Repost is more because right now there's a lot of people trying out these weapon, uh, you know, characters and there's a lot of combat right now. So Repost feels just really good and I think it's going to be really good in the meta as well because it just turns around a trade and uh, it can be backbreaking against other Demacian uh, style mid-range decks. And I really, really like it in the deck because of that. A lot of times they try to kill Vayne in combat and we repost and they cry every time. And that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats, fish. <laughs> that is the deck list right there. Really, really fun to play. Uh, built it relatively quickly. Like I said, it's my first attempt just to, to gather first impressions on some of these cards. But I've already enjoyed myself quite a bit with it and it's felt really solid. And I got some really cool gameplay for you guys today. So hopefully you enjoy. I'll stop talking. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for daily Legends of Runeterra content. Have a solid day. Enjoy the games. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, here we go. We start thing off against Action Varus. Uh, we faced this player several times as I've been tweaking this deck. And I've gained some good intel. Let's beat him in a video, shall we? Let's drop by uh, these three. Ionian Hookmaster. Should be the way we go for now. We got both champions. Uh, we do want to find our tech cards, our Repost, our Concerted Strike, and the likes. Let's get the pano the pano pain. They don't want to trade, it seems. Okay. Interesting. I could play Vayne. Because I do want to progress our level up, but we do know that uh, this sort of deck runs merciless hunters and way to interact with her. So we may just want to instead develop a second Ionian Hookmaster. You're looking at Ionian ten times running. 
Deluded fools. Here, fishy, fishy. Attack of the boss. We got the Blood Cursed Harpy. They have the Ranger Knight Defector. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's take the fix in 3000. And now we go for the fish fight. They can protect it with the momentous choice. They have one mana open for it, but if they do, we can still trade into it. We unequip the uh, fix and 5,000. It's actually pretty fine because we want to equip it onto Vayne. Beautiful. Now we have the uh, the Blood Cursed Harpy, which we can lead off with next turn. Let's drop you. Demons walk among us, masquerading as men. To get that tumble, very important. The thing about Vayne is like, yeah, you want to work towards her level up, but it's going to be easier said than done. The key thing, like the thing that you're going to be getting out of her the majority of the time is just good value and, and very, very powerful spell. We have Jax here though, but I think we want to keep the mana open. If we hesitate, we die, and I'm not interested in dying. All right, all right, girl. I get it. Come on, where's the competition? Stand with me. Beautiful, I love that catch. I love that catch. It's coming together. All right, we gotta be patient here. I will surpass these mortal constraints. Okay, Varys is in. Every time they they play a spell, they'll be getting plus one on the darkened bow for that turn. They'll be loading it up, right? And he's still a little bit away from leveling up. There's two gems there, though. We're gonna equip him with, uh, we're gonna play the Blood Curse Harpy, we're gonna auto-equip the Combat Reel because it will refill our spell mana as we go for a tumble with it. They can drag this and kill it. That is so fine. We take the hit. We tumble. No, we don't wanna equip. Oh, I'm not dying. The Harpy lives! We lose the equipment, but it was the weaker one. And she lives! What a cool card! <laughs> so dope! And we still got the mana for a catch. Oh my god, I'm gonna surprise. I'm gonna my womushin daru the shit out of them. With the fix him 5,000. Oh my god, you're giving me that? Really? This card is so dope, man. I could see it as a three of It's really good. Oh, he's dead! I repeat, Barris is dead. Can't play this though. I could equip here, but for now, let's just swing. Purify bolts. Let's purify their asses. You feel it too. I could apply this catch, but yeah, we don't really. Bruh, I'm actually gonna level up Vayne. Oh my god. No dessert zone. 
I'm actually gonna level up Vayne. But I gotta go with you first. For Acacia. And you know what? Also for, for me. me! Ah, let's get him, Jax! Got more scars than years. I got, got a lot, a lot of, years. of years. Me too, man. I'm a boomer. But today, boomers prevail. We love it when they run. Mm, do you? Do you now? Let me make sure I know what you, what you do when you level up. When I'm subbing, eh? create a zero cost cover. Or if you have it, it's cost by three. Purge with silver. Let's go. I will release them from their pain. Let's get it! This one's a fighter! Oh, she is. I'm not letting her take any damage. <laughs> Clean! Knockout, baby. Let's go. Sentinel's work is never done. All right. Seraphine. With Victor and Bandle City. I assume they're playing Shellfuck as well. This deck is going to get disgusting really fast. We got to apply pressure. We got the Blood Cursed Harpy, but it's a little bit early for you. I like the fish fight. So I am going to keep it, even though we don't have any equipments right now. I mean, we, we got to eventually we'll, we'll find them, right? I'm, I feel like I'm... Well, yikes. Don't want to take any damage on this Elkin if I can get tough on it. Ah oh, man, we got screwed. We got royally screwed with our draws. This is insane. But I mean, I I kept the fish fight, which was a mistake. Let's take a peek at life beneath the waves. It was ultimately a mistake. Yeah, very very slow start for us. But I mean, relatively slow start for them as well. No seraphine on curve. Goodness. Pot of pain is no, no, no. I'm always missed. We can really make good use of the fearsome, and now we get the tough on the Alkin as well. With utmost efficiency. Come and get it. Swing first. Oh, they could have generated something with with good challenges. I'm not sure what though. My research. Metal is perfection. Faded. Well, now we get these fish fights going. Hopefully we knock out Victor here, even though they, they got faded, which is a keyword that, uh... If they got, like, the right... Maybe they, they got, like, a, a combat trick with Conchologist that they can use here and, and potentially survive. But we got we got fish fights for days. He's out! His work is done, so... We got a couple of, uh, kind-hearted recruits here, but there is just... We just don't have the board for it. We need some catch. We need we need we need ways to tempo here. We dropped so terribly this game. Oh my goodness. At least no shell folk yet. One victor has been dealt with. I help when I can. Shut up when I can. We're gonna be equipping the Elkin instead of the Combat Cook. Same stat line, but we have Tough on top of that, so it's a, pretty much a no-brainer there. We just keep spreading out. We have another equipment, unfortunately, here. I could have just like I could have held back and just used it on the Harpy. What wondrous discoveries await below? She kicks, huh? Lady 
a go round. <laughs> oh dear. Those who kill innocents are no more than fiends. I'm gonna keep my con uh, concurrent, my concurrent, my concerned strike open here. In case they want to develop a, sh a curious shell folk, I want to be able to eliminate her immediately. Generate the tumble here. Okay. I could be using this with uh, with the Blood Curse Harpy. I'm aware of this, but I have to I have to make use of my mana here, and I push five damage. I leave them very low. I still have options here. Before they can prank, we fish, we take a fish and we smack her in the head with it! Knock her out, get our amulet back, oh this is glorious, because now we play the Blood Curse Harpy and we auto equip it. Oh, oh shut down, that game was looking so grim, well we shut him down. Okay, now with Karma. The Ionia version, definitely a scarier one, I think. Uh, we have the catch, which I think we keep. Blood Curse Carpy, we have a three of, so we don't, we can mulligan her away. Like, we're, we're bound to draw her when it's turn six. So you don't generally have to uh, rush her, but I love having these catches and the Golden Aegis. In a matchup like this, this is glorious. I need anything that can, can just allow me to outpace the, the more reactive deck here. First, we go fishing. We get Pato Paint. Shepherd's Authority could be nice, but I want to—I don't want to retain my ability to block here. Before we attack, we are going with uh, Bane. Demons walk among us, masquerading as men. Because I, I want to threaten the level up here. Their way of removing her is like a thermogenic beam, and that takes away all their all their mana here. Okay. Back to reel it in. Interesting. Oh, so they can't they can't finish her off yet. Oh another they want to develop this. And then they want to thermo. Is that is that their plan? That, that's gonna backfire on them. Okay, no. Alright. We get to oh man this this tumble mechanic I love it. I actually love it. Uh, do we go for? I mean, there's no reason not to do this. We still have one left. Fish meat face. Just one mana getting the upper hand in this exchange. Obviously, they could have their own combat tricks, but ooh, I forgot about that one. We're gonna try to repost. If they had more pings, I think they would have shown them. They went for a mystic shot earlier. This does leave Vayne exposed, but I gotta preserve my board in this matchup. Nice! It's it's the time to play repost. I'm telling you, like it, it's a two of in this deck. It has to be. Oh, that was sick. Okay, okay. Just don't, don't kill her. No, 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 no. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. Just want to trigger the dragon. I thought, I thought that was a thermal beam. <laughs> I was so convinced. All right. All right, Bane. What's the play here? Let's 
scout. Like even even just playing the elk and takes away concert strike from my options, which is not something that I'm I'm crazy about, but I think this is not the turn that we need to, to leave it open. Draw a spell. Quick attack is really important here. Purified bolts. Still have another catch. Whoa. Wait, what? Why why didn't they jump with this? None. Eh? I probably could have gone for the tumble here, but I didn't want to leave myself exposed. I, I don't know, that, that felt a little bit odd, like they had something, but we, we still have the Golden Aegis. We're almost at a Jax level up as well. We just got to go wide and, and just apply pressure this way. Um, yeah. Sword, staff, fish, nothing speaking to me. I just don't want to play into any sort of like Ionia nonsense, like a, a Telstones into a Homecoming or something like that. I, w I want them to deplete their mana a little bit. Still have the Kazur Strike open, but I'm I'm just I'm really eager to get this this vein level up. Like when when I'm when you're so close, ah, the thing is the the, the opponent's gonna try everything they can to stop it. So I'm gonna go with Jax actually, because this way, if they if they have something to like stop this, then at least we still get the attack through. If you're gonna sit down, make sure you stretch. And now with the Concerted Strike, we get the Overwhelm proc. Obviously, they could have a deny. Or... Or not. Who's next? Bring it on! Turning the screen pink. Power overload. Now we have, the, we have this. Okay, that's fine. If you're just searching for damage, uh, the flow hasn't been enabled for that either. Seraphine's still away. You know, a long way from leveling up, Eilish. What? What is that tempo? That tempo. That tempo makes no sense. But I'm not. I'm not gonna risk my my champs to another twin disciplines, which is pretty likely. I'm gonna block with with the Elkin, because the Elkin will take no damage from this. Alright. We're going in. We got that level up. We're going to get that Tumble as well. Tumble works extremely well with Jax. But we got to open attacks so we get that boost. And then afterwards, the Tumble will be devastating. No, 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 no way. What? Oh, they just did it to okay, just to just to have the dragon link. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I freaked out. All right. Bam, bam, bam. Purge with silver. Let me change up my style. I will release them from their pain. All the Ionia players under the sun. Let's go. Thick jacks. Best Jax. With that tumble and that golden egg is I'm gonna be attacking for days. <laughs> Just kill you here? I mean you must have something, right? You're Ionia. Can't be that easy. I mean that's that's less health. <laughs> the tough makes it so that's less health. Oh. 
<laughs> we have so many plays, man. What you? What are you gonna do? They they did their best. Yeah. The elk lived. Good mail. All right. Who's who's this? Wait. Oh, this is nonsense. I just realized. Okay. Okay. So they they, they actually fixed the well. Just, just as I'm gonna have the last match of the video, they uh, they just fixed the whole cosmetic thing. So for like for the next video, I should have actual cosmetics. Okay, all right, good to know. Um, uh, we're facing Seraphine Rumble. Okay, no idea what this is about. Let's go ahead and mulligan away everything, including the shepherd. It's not bad, like, it's good to have, actually, but I, I have faith that I can draw my earlier curve by doing so. I mean, we draw it again, anyways. We got the faithful watchdog here. I could hold on to my mana. Ooh, when I'm discarded of me, I ran around the cure, okay. Okay. My heroic last stands never seem to stick. Get hit. And uh, we got a catch here. That's pretty neat. How we have the catch, you can play a little bit more aggressively. Interesting. Oh dear. I'm gonna use the catch. I'm gonna force something out of him. They've already played a pokey stick. They could have another one. They could just hit that as well. It's fine. But this makes it so that I, I hit him hard. There's a Jax. What wondrous discoveries await below? Sword, staff, fish, nothing speaking to me. Way, come along. Okay. Back to the mountain. Good, good boy, Dago, coming in. Get off of the scout attack. I'm gonna go for the uh, the fish fight to level up Jax, but I'm gonna I'm gonna have to strike so he, uh, we keep it. A thousand years of battle and I'm just, just getting up. started. Oh, oh, I I got the quote wrong. <laughs> Shit, I failed you all. All right, Jax, time to get beefy. Time to push that overwhelm damage. Look at that hit, boys. Look at that hit. That's the kind of hit we need. We gotta end this game. Good draw. What do you got for me? Seraphine is four to six. Rumble. Bilge Rat Rascal. 
No Mecha Yordle yet. Interesting. It's a jack show. <laughs> oh, nice. How about we go all in, huh? Ooh. What am I afraid of here? An open attack from Jax is extremely powerful. They could what could they have? Because I could I could play the uh, the Jorao, but I don't know what that is accomplishing at this point. I think we try to finish this game. I think we grow to a point where, yeah, they can't stop it, baby. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, we shook these both champions, dude. We gotta keep it burning, baby. Oh, man, that was sick. Okay, so first impressions. Obviously, very, very small sample size and uh, still trying out some of the new cards. But first impressions, really, really decent, honestly. Like, Jax felt better than ever just because of, of the synergy. Like, the fact that he works really well with uh, with the tumble. Right? Like, the tumble is extremely threatening. The payoff for Vayne's level up isn't really, like, she's, she's no Quinn or Misfortune in that sense. Right? You're getting a zero-cost tumble. Like, it is definitely an upgrade. But it's not some, it's not one that you, you need to play your entire like sequence around essentially like you don't need to sacrifice good plays just to get a vein level up because she's not really gonna make that much of a difference like her value is is it's just given to you immediately with tumble and preserving her alive allows you to potentially generate more tumbles or make them cheaper right so there is that but repost it's, I, I don't know how relevant, like, combat will be. I mean, after the nerf tsunami, I, I do expect a bit of a more of, like, a mid range meta, potentially. And uh, that means that cards like Riposte are really important, because in a lot of ways, people will try to deal with the likes of Vayne and Jaxxus through uh, just sheer damage through combat, or just, like, a big uh, hit, right? So Riposte has felt really good, because it just turns around and exchange... And obviously, Concerted Strike as well. The Rally is important as well. And the Blood Cursed Harpy has been a card that has just been extremely, like, it's it's far better than, I mean, not far, but quite better than I thought it would be, honestly. Like, it's very, very nice. And Fish Fight is the tits. I love everything about this card. <laughs> Absolutely everything. Oh, I, I gotta showcase some Jorao, though. Um, I gotta keep working on this. But, you know, for a first attempt, I, I'm pretty happy with this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the games, and I'm gonna stop talking. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for daily Legends of Runeterra content. We're back at it with the new expansion. Hope you enjoyed some vein. Let me know which champ you want to see next. I'll see you guys tomorrow.